All right, so I wanted to go over the uh, maintenance that we recommend doing uh, just on the K-Box here. First one, most people are already aware of this, but we like to recommend to uh, keep an eye here on the belt near the center opening. Um, just keep an eye out for any fraying, any tearing. Um, for reference, I, I have a drive belt here that if I can hold it up, you can see it. Obviously there's a hole here, a little bit of fraying on the side. And so this is one that, that we would probably trim. And so you can just pop it out, take some scissors, cut it off and then just pop it back in. Um, so that's pretty normal. Most people keep an eye on that. Um, second, I'm gonna take this off here, just to expose the shaft. Um, a big one here is, is the, we have seven different stop screws. Okay, so the main job of the stop screws is to hold the shaft in place. So first, I'll show where they all are. So we got one, two, three, four. We got our fifth one here. And then number six, kind of hard to see. And number seven right there. So about once a month is a good idea to, this Allen wrench should come in the toolkit that came with your unit. All I'm gonna do is to just go through it and make sure that all of these are tight. Okay, so again, the, the, the main uh, job of these stop screws is to hold this shaft and, and really everything underneath the K-Box in place. So anytime that the shaft shifts anywhere is never a good idea. So preventative measures, biggest one is to just go through maybe once a month, make sure that all of these are tight and that will ensure that the shaft doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so tighten all seven of them. Um, related to that is the, the two uh, flanges here, the two stop screws that, that hold these in place. Okay, we just wanna make sure if there's any wobble in these, that's not a good thing. Okay, so um, by tightening these stop screws, that holds these in place. So while tightening the stop screws, just to make sure that these can't move, um, that's, something other, that's something else that we recommend to do. Okay, so another quick thing to check is the belt bite here. And so this is just the bottom side of the button that you press to release the belt. Um, over time, this can come kind of loose. It's kind of rare, but it doesn't, it's really quick to check and it, it doesn't hurt anything. So there's a couple screws here, but this is the only one that we have to check to make sure it's tight. And so this goes all the way through, obviously an Allen wrench here, and then just something to hold, there's a nut on the other side here. So you can use, either use pliers or wrench, um, just make sure you got a good grip on it from there. It shouldn't be super, super tight, um, but also it shouldn't be loose. So if you just check the tension on that, um, it takes a couple seconds, and that's another good thing to check while you have the K-Box flipped over. Moving on to the K-meter here. Um, if I can get this into view, the K meter obviously has the um, actual meter and then this rubber disc here. So you can see there's teeth on that rubber disc and we just like to make sure that those are all there. They're not uh, broken, not knocked off. Um, so that's one thing that we like to check. And then secondly, if I can get it into frame here, not sure if you can see, but there are the reading forks that this disc runs through, okay? And so we just like to make sure that this disc is centered in there um, and that it runs through those, those reed forks underneath. Okay, and um, last one is related to the K-meter as well. But um, if you have a, a, a can of air dust, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and just spray a little bit in between those reading forks there of the K-meter. Main thing that does is just to make sure sometimes some dust can build up um, underneath there. It's not absolutely necessary to do, but it does help to make sure that the, the K-meter is functioning properly. Um, so if you have some of that laying around, it wouldn't hurt to just spray some in there, make sure no dust builds up, and that's it.